Today I'm gonna answer probably one of the most asked questions on my live stream the last couple of days. How do you run a HOTAS or HOSAS setup with Starfield? It's very, very straightforward. Let me show you how. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Starfield. Today I'm gonna to show you how we can set up a HOTAS or a HOSAS setup with joysticks and throttles to work with Starfield. So Starfield doesn't support input from a HOTAS. So what we're going to do is we're going to fool Starfield into thinking that our HOTAS is in fact an Xbox controller. But we're gonna do it in such a way that it doesn't interfere with all your other games and we're not gonna go and mess up all your control bindings for other games. You're going to need two pieces of software. The first one you're going to need is the VIGEM BOSS driver. What this does is it creates a virtual um, Xbox controller in your system and we can then after go ahead and remap your HOTAS over to that virtual Xbox controller. I'll be linking to it in the description below. You download the, uh, the exe file here, you just run through the installation and then you're good to go. For the second piece of software you have a number of options. You can either use Joystick Gremlin, um, really really good tool, also might be a little complicated um, but as you can see on their site here, they also um, mention a software called uh, Universal Control Remapper. And that's the one I'll be using today as I had an easier time getting that to work, uh, probably with the virtual um, Xbox controllers. So we're going to head to the Universal Controller Remapper um, GitHub page. And again, you have a zip file. You just download the zip file that you can see right here. And then you just unpack it. I recommend you unpack it under your... Um, C users and then whatever your username is in that folder. As I had some issues, I think it was some permission issues, if I were doing it under like C programs or something like that. So put it in the C users, your username, and then um, unzip it in there. First, um, they recommend you run the UCR unblocker access. So start by doing that. And after that, we can run the UCR exit file, as you can see right here. You can also make a shortcut for this in your desktop as we are going to be needing to start this up every time uh, we're going to play Starfield. Booting it up, you'll be greeted with something like this. You can see I already have a profile for Starfield. That's the one I've been, uh, been using so far, but we're going to create a brand new one. So we're going to click on the little plus icon here. We're going to give it a name. Let's call this one for YouTube demo. Wow, caps lock. And then we're going to select the input devices that we want to have. And that's all the input devices you want to use in this profile. You can see here, it even take like my uh, my Toby eye tracker, even my head position and my gaze position. I can use that as well. If I was going to get like really um, insane with it, I could do that. Um, but in this case here, I'm just going to need my left and my right stick on my, uh, my verbal. And I just gonna take, you can see here, we have our virtual um, Xbox controllers right here. So I'm just gonna select the first one and we're gonna click create. And now it's just a matter of beginning to remap axes one at the time. And I recommend you pull up a image of an Xbox controller if you don't have it, as it makes it a little bit easier to remember if you rebind all the, um, the keys. So for instance, let's say I want to do the right stick on the controller. I would go here and say that's an axis, so I want to map a axis from my uh, joysticks to an axis on the controller. So that would be axis to axis. Click the plus icon here, let's call this one for um, right stick and select accept. okay? So I want to take my um, x-axis, gonna be my um, verbal right stick, and I'm going to bind it, I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna move the x-axis, there we go. You can also click the icons out here and you can manually select the axis if you prefer so instead. And similarly, you can go out here and you can, I'm gonna push the Y axis, and then I'm gonna go down here for the Xbox controller. I'm gonna say the X axis is going to be bound to, you guessed it, the right X axis and the right Y axis. There we go. We can invert it here. If you want to invert one of the axes, you have inversion settings here. You have sensitivity settings, and we can then go ahead and we can do that for all the axes. If, for instance, the triggers uh, on the Xbox controllers are technically axes, um, you know, the main triggers for for, for the, uh, the point for index fingers, those are technically axes. But for me, I actually want to have a button for that since I have a little trigger on the back of my joystick that's a button, um, but and not an axis. So in that case, I would then go button to axis here. So I want to map a button, press into an axis press. So if I click a plus on that, so let's go and say, right trigger, create that. And we're gonna again go with my right stick 
I want to have it as my trigger. I know that is button four. You could also again just press it. So the final thing is now to go back here and we are going to go and say that that trigger is going to be bound to the right trigger axis. And specifically with the axes, I found you can see here if we just go ahead and we start this one, you can see here that the um, the uh, the bottom axis you can see on top there it's either now it's off and it's on when it goes uh, when it goes light means it's on you can see that up there but also note that the um, that the axis position at the bottom is uh, on the controller is either half depressed or fully depressed that actually means that when it is set up by default it will always be uh, it will think that the axis on the little trigger is always halfway down so what you actually have to do is that you need to put this to minus 100 like so and now when we activate this profile you will see that now it is in fact doing as we expect and it mimics that uh, that button above buttons of course is pretty straightforward you go down and say button to button and then you just say let's say we go with uh right cape caption here right stick click so the clicking of the of the right stick again we're gonna go with that and let's say that here i want i'm just gonna pick anything button 10 maybe uh, and then I go over here and I select that's going to be a button and it's going to be my right stick button right there. And we can see we have all the, um, the uh, A, B, X, Y. We have the left um, left and right like shoulder buttons, left and right stick, the back and the start button in the, in the middle of the controller. And down here you also have the D-pad that you can, uh, you can assign. But in this case here, since it was the right stick, I'm going to go right stick click. There we go. And now it's just a matter of going through setting all these things up. So once we're done, we just click the save icon right here. And then whenever we want to, uh, to actually use this, we can see we have a YouTube demo here. That's why I recommend making a shortcut for this. We will just, in my case, I would use the star field one here. Activate it. And there you go. We are now good to go. We can go and play, use our HOTAS for flying spaceships inside Starfield. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, please consider subscribing and maybe giving the video a like as well. Thanks a lot for watching, and also next time, I'll see you guys in space.